what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so it chapter 2 has officially received its r rating the mpaa has officially given it the restricted rating of rated r uh the reasoning behind this of course as to no one's surprise uh and i quote is due to disturbing violent content and bloody images throughout pervasive language and some crude sexual material now that last portion is what i want to kind of just focus on for the first half of this video i do not think that that has anything to do with them showing that controversial scene between beverly and the boys from the book i don't think that's going to be in here at all uh but we may see like a sex scene between two characters that's what i'm expecting they made that may be something that's added into the movie here uh or just the fact that we see jessica chastain in her top we see her topless a bit that type of stuff um as far as like the disturbing imagery what we're seeing in the trailers already tells us off the bat that this is a little bit more on the darker side compared to the original the original one they were children and you had to do you had to kind of set that kid friendly type of tone in the original one while also still going and getting having no fear getting scary at certain moments which the original one did very well uh this second movie is going to be 27 years later when they're all now grown up and they've returned to dairy to face pennywise one last time uh so with them being older this movie is probably going to be a little bit more dark throughout uh not too much is going to be light-hearted i suspect until it comes down to the final moments of the movie uh, i'm expecting nothing but bloodshed I'm expecting several of several members of the Losers Club to die. I haven't seen the miniseries in a while. I haven't read the book in a few years. I'm not going to read it or watch the miniseries to spoil any of the deaths because I do not remember who specifically dies. And anyway, they might be changing it up just to fit into the narrative of what they're trying to tell here anyway. There may be a few characters that die here that don't die in the books, vice versa. Um, I'm glad this does have an R rating. I don't think anyone was expecting it to get anything but an R rating. Uh, it'd be nice to see a horror movie with an NC-17 rating, but then if it were NC-17, I'm assuming that means it is going to include that controversial scene with Beverly and the boys. Uh, I'm not going to get into that on my channel, but if you want to know more about that, you can go on Google, look it up. The controversial scene, Beverly and the boys, <laughs> in the it in Stephen King's It novel. Um, everyone's talked about it. Everyone's speculated whether it will be in the film or not. I think they've come out and already said that it will not be. Uh, however, that doesn't mean that we couldn't get some flashes of something that kind of reference or pay homage to that crucial uh, crucial aspect of the book or that crucial uh, event that occurred in the novel. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this movie. I think everyone is going to do an amazing job, specifically Bill Skarsgård and uh, James McAvoy. Those are the two I mentioned in my last video discussing this film. I think they are going to be the two to look at when we go. When everyone goes out to see this movie, I think those are going to be the two actors everyone has their eye on because Bill Skarsgård did so well with uh, the last portrayal of Pennywise in the original film that came out in 2017. And then everyone is familiar with James McAvoy for his recent performances with Split, Glass, uh, he's participating in the dark phoenix role uh or the dark phoenix film i'm really excited to see what those two will do on screen together uh i'm really looking forward to this movie uh we aren't we're only a little under two months away from it now so the movie will be here shortly it's coming out on september 8th i believe the movie's right around the corner let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below. Are you excited that the movie got an R rating? Were you expecting something different? What do you think is going to happen in the film overall that led to this rating? What type of imagery do you think we're going to see that's so disturbing? Uh, let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can mention me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews that you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.